Uh, my first name is Shireen. My last name is Mendoza. That is C-H-E-R-I-N-E. M-E-N-D-O-Z-A. And tell me a little bit about what's going on today. Uh, I am about to complete the mural that, um, that we have up here. That was um, actually, the wall was built for this mural, or we're actually calling it the Vanessa Guillen Memorial. So we're just finishing up right now. Yeah. And there's kind of a unique story because this wasn't here before. Like, they, um, there's something about that. Can you talk a little bit more? Yes. So LULAC, which is the um, the Hispanic Civil Rights Organization, wanted to have a mural so close to the base, and so they were trying to reach out to people. And there's a tattoo parlor, uh, sick made. And so they contacted the owner of the shop and they said, hey, we would like to do a mural uh, on one of your walls. Can we make it happen? But he does have other artwork. So he said, you know what? This is a memorial. It's a mural for Vanessa. I'm going to build a wall. So in less than 24 hours, uh, him, his family and his uh, friends, they, they built this wall for her with the bricks. And then when it's all done, they're going to put roses, plant roses um, at the bottom. So yeah, it was built for her. Yeah. And your story is kind of interesting too because mm -hmm. you're not from the Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so I was contacted by Lula, uh, Lulac, I'm sorry, and I was contacted by Lulac and I actually created a digital art piece that unbeknownst to me went viral. So before I posted it, um, you know, I drew it out and I was thinking about her family and everything and I wanted to create an art piece that can be shared uh, on social media to get her story out. I did not even know that it was going to go viral. Um, I didn't even put my name on the artwork because uh, that was not the focus. But then the next day I took off um, on vacation for three days, uh, camping and so I don't get reception. Came back and my phone was blowing up. And so on Tuesday, uh, Carlos from LULAC was like, girl, I was trying to find you. You need to put your name on your artwork. He's like, we have a lot to talk about and we need you in, in Colleen and we need to do a mural. So that's how, that's how it happened, right. really fast. So um, there's also another very interesting story about how you got involved in wanting to do this kind of artwork. You told me a little bit about it last Friday. Um, about my dream? Yes. <laughs> can, you, can you go into detail about that a little bit? Yes, well I've been uh, painting full time for about two and a half years as an artist back, in, uh, back home in my garage. And I've always questioned uh, what my future would be like. And so I'm really connected with my ancestors through dreams. And I'm, I feel like I'm connected to the universe. And so the day, that I, uh, the day before I posted that digital piece, that I created the digital piece, um, I had a dream. And in the dream, my grandfather, who has passed on, had appeared. And it was the most vivid dream that I have ever felt. And in my dreams, I know that I'm there and I know that my ancestors have passed on and I'm able to communicate with them. And so I've really been trying to navigate through my dreams to just ask them questions because I'm just really curious. Um, but the one question that I always just seem to ask is like, what, what is the next uh, chapter and next goal for me as far as my art career? Because I know that I'm supposed to be an artist and it's my passion, but I need to know my purpose. And so my grandfather said, um, he was like, well, you need to get to work. He said it in Spanish, Ponte a trabajar. He went like that, Ponte a trabajar. And so when I got called um, by Lulac and he told me, I want you to paint a mural, the first thing that came to mind was in that dream, as I was speaking to my grandfather, I was painting a mural. And he was looking at the mural, but I didn't know what it was, what it was about, and I didn't know that that was my purpose. Uh, but he kept looking at the mirror and telling me you need to get to work but i was trying to try to know try to figure out what what that meant so it, this is just all coming together yeah. so so what, what kind of like thoughts and emotions go through your mind as you're as you're creating this hero right here uh definitely anger sadness i think about her mother um because before i created that digital piece and why i created it what really pushed me to do that was when I seen the video of her mother at the press conference speaking and she is crying and you can hear and see the anger, the fear, the sadness and she's asking for help. And so that's what's like, okay, I need to go and I need to paint something for her before I leave camping for a few days because 
her story needs to be out there. I just noticed, like, it, she's from Texas. I'm in California. I'm just hearing about this. I don't even know who this this woman is, this child is, and so this soldier. And so, um, so yeah, that's it, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of emotions. A lot, of, but to be honest, I was really scared to come over here for many reasons. But the community and the experience that I've been having. It's just an emotion, it's very emotional, but it's so healing in a way. It's so calm, it's so, it's just a beautiful experience. I feel like I'm in this like, this, this, this beautiful like healing bubble. I can't even explain it. It's just, it's so beautiful to be here. So, um, you said that you were a little hesitant to come over here. Oh yeah. Why is that? Well, I really, you know, first of all, I questioned why they would pick me um, to come here when there are so many great artists here locally um, and you know I just really felt like you know why me and so Lulac was like no you're you're the chosen one because I you know Carlos is also connected with his ancestors and the universe and he said no we're, you're supposed to be here and so everything just connected and so I was just I just wanted to to create a beautiful art piece for the community here um, and to make a big bold statement um, but also this is the first major mural that I've done. I'm not um, like a muralist. I come from painting on canvas with acrylics. So I was just, it, just the pressure, I guess, and, and you know, the media coming and people seeing, I was just really, really nervous <laughs> with that. But you felt like this was really something that needed to be told. Oh yes, definitely, yes. And when they told me their plan, Lou like, was like, oh, did you know the location of it? It's right across the street. And I'm like, wow, that, I mean, that's, that's so powerful. And so every time, you know, the soldiers come in and out, anybody comes out of that base, you're not gonna forget this. And this is also a big statement as well for future soldiers who are not gonna know about her story 10 years from now. They're gonna be like, well, who is this? Well, look up the hashtag, read her name, and it'll tell you, it'll tell you her story. Absolutely. So just out of curiosity, what got you into art and painting? Was it something you've always been into since you were little or? Yes. So my great grandfather is, is an artist. My dad can paint and draw as well. So it's in the family. I have a, a great uncle who used to actually travel all around uh, the world, take photos and come back and paint. But he was like a realistic portrait artist, beautiful. Um, and he used oil paints. Um, and so his paintings actually got passed down to me once my family heard, you know, like two and a half years ago that I was doing this art full time and that actually seen me paint. Um, but yeah, I've been painting and uh, sketching mostly sketching since I was young. I'm gonna say like eighth grade. And then I kind of got into like the graffiti style in high school. Um, but then at an early age, I, I got pregnant with my daughter and I knew that that lifestyle was not for me, but I still loved the art. And so I went into like digital design, graphic designing. Um, but it, I was really focusing on my craft here and there for all these years. But when I got let go from my job about two and a half years ago, that's when I just hit it hard full, full time. and. I took up painting, like real like painting. And so um, just, I, I wanna say about a year ago is when I really try to teach myself how to paint more realistic. So you can see from a year till now, the change and just the growth. And so, yeah, so I've been, I've been into art for a long time. So I gotta ask because you're a mother yourself. Yes. You know, what, when you think about like how your daughter might look upon this, you know, years down the road, what do you what do you hope she what do you hope she gets from this? What kind of message do you hope for her to understand from this painting? I want her to find her purpose in life and whatever it is that she wants to do, um, for her to be happy and to give back, because that is what I'm doing. I'm giving back, and I, I really love to create art, and I want to use that to connect people. And so I want her to see me paint this mural and just connect to connect that connect Vanessa's mural and this experience to to my happiness and to really helping I think it's all uh, connected and I just really want her to to find her purpose in life and whatever she wants to do how can she be connected with other people and, and help that and that's what I want her so you spoke a little bit about like your your ancestry and your nationality yes what what by chance is your uh, nationality I'm a Mexican, well, Mexican-American. Um, my family has been here. I'm third-born generation. 
Yeah, so I mean, I'm somewhat disconnected, but I feel like with this mural and everything and, and, and my paintings that I really try to connect that, connect myself um, with my culture because I mean, my culture is beautiful and I just want to paint it, you know? And so when you have to paint it, you have to research it. And so I, that's how I feel like I, I teach myself more about my culture and how I can relate. And, and for me, you know, I'm not, somebody with many words or I can't articulate very well but with my paintings I people can know how I feel what I want to say with that all right awesome um I can't really think of much else to add is there anything else that you would like to add maybe um information on where we can follow you for more of your artwork you know anything like that social well, I do want to say for anybody who loves to create, whether it's painting, crafting, you know, sketching, you don't have to be the greatest artist to create something beautiful and don't be afraid to share your work. I know, you know, in the art world, it is competitive and, you know, you can feel like nobody wants to learn or teach, but don't, don't, let, that, don't let that scare you because there's a lot of people who, who want to learn from each other and I feel like you don't have to be the greatest artist to create something very beautiful. I'm not the greatest artist, but look what I've, I've created and, and it, it's affected a lot of people. Oh, you can find me on social media, Instagram, at shopshireen, that's S-H-O-P-C-H-E-R-I-N-E.